Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got my hands on the Skywalker, which is dropping on September 6th. Let's go try this thing out. Let's go. All right, this sweet little Skywalker, which is a Casey White signature disc, dropped September 6th. Skywalker is a FD1 in this sweet halo plastic. That's pretty nice. Uh, this one is a 173 gram. The numbers are 7402. So I really like those kind of numbers. First off, I'm gonna go to a field and test this out. Now I'm out here at Renaissance Disc Golf Course. We're gonna do a couple tee shots with this FD1 and really get a feel for it. I'm gonna try to do a forehand here. The hole's tucked a little bit to the right. This feels really good in the hand for a forehand, nice and low profile. I know Casey likes to do some uh, forehands. So here we go, let's see if we can get it close. Oh yeah, great stability hook up there. Come on, yes, nice flare. Oh baby, I'm parked. Wow, I love that. Really digging this FD1 so far. Kind of reminds me, I used to have one of my favorite discs a while ago was a nice swirly KJ T-Bird that was like a regular T-Bird but more overstable. So somewhere between like a Firebird and a normal T-Bird. I'm starting to get those kind of vibes here. This isn't overstable like a Firebird but it's more stable than like a T-Bird and man, I'm digging it. And check out that watermelon variation there. All right, here we are at Rennie Gray Hole 2. Basically a straight shot. If you go too far to the left, you're gonna be in the shul. So you don't wanna go over there. This guy is pretty straight for the most part, but it's got a lot of fade at the end. So I'm gonna try pumping this on a little Anheuser See if I can get it to flatten out, get me up there past the rock, hopefully. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, guys, this is a nice disc. Nothing but impressed with this FD1 Skywalker Casey White signature disc. Uh, some of you may have seen my video with Iceberg where we went out and played around. His Skywalker is a little more overstable than mine. I don't know if the watermelon variants are less stable or I just happen to get a nice straight one, but it's not totally straight. Definitely he's got good stability, but if you notice on that last shot, throwing a little bit uphill, put it a little on Anheuser, thing went dead straight, pumped it out. Man, it's got nice fade to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this thing. I think this is going in the bag. I can throw a couple more shots with this disc. I actually, ironically, have a tournament I'm playing in in about an hour. So I'm just trying to get a quick video in here. Plus, I think I might be bagging this for the tournament too. So getting a little warm up here. All right. Oh, baby. Sit. So this does have stability on it. Just remember that. Pump it out straight. It will go straight, but it's got a lot of fade to it. Yeah, ever since I uh, quit bagging that KJ Swirly T-Bird, I haven't really found a good replacement for it. Really kind of miss that in the bag. I think this might be that overstable T-Bird I've been looking for. Guys, if you're looking for a nice overstable, but not too overstable fairway driver, it's a seven speed, check these out. I mean, go for that watermelon variant if you can. This thing is really nice. I'd really dig it. Got my tournament starting up here soon. So this is going to be my last hole. See the basket right in the middle of the power lines. It's actually past the power lines. This is a perfect shot for this type of disc. About 320 feet. Love it. 
Get a good skip. Skip. Oh yeah. Inside circle for a birdie putt. All right guys, check out this Skywalker. Releases September 6th. If you guys want to get a good deal on it, go over to Disc Golf Deals USA. Use Disc Rider for 10% off. Till next time, peace out.